Last month, I posted a video on my channel about a commercial shot with the Canon R5 in my bedroom. Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes, but first, let's take a look at the commercial itself. So we're going to do this on the cheap. Grab a light stand and a background holder. Just fit it on top of your light stand like this. And multiply it by two. Put your background stand in. This is pretty standard. Set your height. Black background. Clamp it on nice and tight. Make sure you avoid any wrinkles in there. It's black, it's not going to show up, but just in case. So I use my sawhorse as my table. This is my DIY turntable or Lazy Susan. I'm going to be using a black plexiglass, which is shiny on one side and matte on the other. We'll use the matte one for this video. And this is how I rotate it. It's, uh, it's manual, it's not bad. So I shot this with the Godox lights. This is the SL150 uh, with an Elinchrome adapter attached to it and the Elinchrome cheap uh, softbox. I use black cinefoil to create a strip box out of this. And that's how I did this. On the other side, I'm also using an SL60 with the Elinchrome reflector and a grid. I will diffuse this light with a nice big six foot diffuser. These are the five in one diffusers. Uh, the links to all of this is in my description in the Amazon affiliate link. That's what it looks like. We have a black background and two lights. I'm going to use one more light for this. And this is the Aperture MC Mini. And this is going to highlight our label. So that's what it looks with all the lights on. So I put the Canon R5 on a slide on my tripod. This is not straight on, this is at an angle. This creates a nice little parallax effect. You can see it here, this is not straight on. So basically what I did is move the turntable using a Canon 100mm macro 2.8 at f16. Now we're gonna look at the editing. This is straight out of camera, shot in C-Log, and then the final version, the same thing here. And once more. So these are all the final versions. Pretty straightforward. The flip shot was done like this. Just threw it towards the camera and then caught it. This shot was interesting. It's a montage of two shots together. Where this is the original pressing of the cap, and this is the spray. They were combined in post. This was just a shot where the can is being pulled by a string. And that's it. Let's take a look at the final version of the ad again. Please like, share and subscribe, um, that really helps and see you soon.